Hi friends, this is the Nero Research and welcome to the part number 5 of Cryptocurrency Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video series I will show you how to create your own cryptocurrency arbitrage bot. In the previous part we have completed implementation of market data receiver, we have created two order book objects which store order book data from Bitfinex and Poloniex, and today we begin implementation of data analyzer the component of event loop that will use these other book objects in order to find trade opportunity. I want to quickly remind you how data analyzer works in case of cryptocurrency arbitrage. Bot has information about highest bids and lowest asks from both exchanges. And when highest bid on exchange 2, for instance, is greater than lowest ask on exchange 1, bot sells on exchange 2 and buys on exchange 1. The role of data analyzer in this case is to simply compare highest bids with lowest asks. So today we have only one task in Trello, implement comparator function for bids and ask. So let's begin coding. Before we call comparator or data analyzer, we need to wait until other books will be populated with amounts and prices values. So we'll add set some timeout. We'll use this set timeout function and we'll wait one minute before we call comparator. So within this set timeout function we need to run compare function inside loop. Ideally this should be while loop. But I observe that this while loop consumes a lot of computing power. That's why I'll replace it with set interval function. Set interval function and we'll run comparator every 50 milliseconds. But this value can be less than 50 milliseconds. And inside send interval we can call compare. This function will have only one parameter self, and we need to create self variable self which equals to this. So now it's time to implement compare function. Compare self. Since we need to compare bids and asks for every pair we plan to arbitrage, firstly we need to pull pair names from other books and match them. We can do this with two loops. The first loop will go through Bitfinex order book, so let's call it bfx key in exchange exchanges 0 which is responsible for Bitfinex order book and inside this loop we'll have second loop which will go through Polonix order book. We can simply copy this row paste and replace bfx with polo changes one and closing it. Bfx key and polo key are pair names, and now we need we need to match them. We can do this with some custom function. Let's call it match keys bfx key polo key, and now let's create this match keys function. function match keys key1 and key2 as parameters oh I forgot to add function definition here as well okay as you see Polonix has different pair naming which includes this underscore character in the middle so in order to compare keys we need to take right part of the Polonix pair and check if this right part is contained inside uh, 
be a fixed pair. So we can do this with the following. Let's create some variable, call it car, and it equals to key2, which is polo key, split by underscore, and we'll take second part, which is array element with index 1. And if key1 includes this second part of Polonix pair name, car, then we return true. Else we return false. That's very simple. Now let's check how it works. But I need to put one here. So if key match, we'll return in console the fix key and polo key. And polo key. Let's go to terminal and run code. But please remember that we'll wait 60 seconds before actually anything happens. Here is the output of our code, and as you see, keys are perfectly matched. For instance, LTC BTC to BTC underscore LTC, XRP BTC to BTC XRP, and the same for Ethereum. Now we can move further. Now we are ready to work with prices. Firstly, we need to find out which exchange has highest bid and which exchange has lowest ask. In order to do that, we need to pull prices from exchanges, from order books, and push them into some arrays where we can compare. So let's create two arrays, one for bids, which would be empty array, and another one for asks, which would be also empty array. Also, we'll create max variable, which would be equal to highest bit, but for now it is equal to zero, and mean variable, mean which equals to lowest ask. Now let's, let's put bid prices and asks prices into this array. So bids push exchanges one order book order book B Exchange zero order book, be a fixed key price, and do the same for Polonix. Change one follow key price, and the same for asks. So let's I forgot to add bits here, bits, and bits here. Now let's copy these two rows, and instead of bits, let's write asks. Asks, and asks here, and asks. Here. Now we can compare a find max value and mean value within these two arrays. Max and mean values we can find with function mass max apply mass bits actually bits is array and same for mean value mean apply mass mean apply 
mass asks. Now we have highest bid and lowest ask. Now we need to check whether these values are not equal to zero and highest bid is greater than lowest ask. So let's run following if statement max is greater than zero and mean is also greater than zero and highest bid which is max greater than lowest ask which is mean. Inside this if statement we have arbitrage opportunity. We have max value which is highest bid and mean value which is lowest ask. Now we need to get information from which, which exchange exchange has highest bid and which exchange has lowest ask. That's actually easy to do by getting position of max and mean values inside bids and asks array because the first element inside bids and ask array is element from exchange uh, Bitfinex and the second one is from Polonix. So let's create two variables. First bid index which equals to bids index of max value and the second variable is ask index which also equals to asks index of mean value. So if bid index equals to zero that means that highest bid is on Bitfinex. If bid index equals to one that means that highest bid is on Polonix. Same, re same relates to ask index. But there may be case where bid index and ask index are the same, which means that highest bid and lowest ask is on the same exchange. We need to, to avoid this case and to do this we'll create another if statement if bid index is not equal to ask index, which means that highest bid and lowest ask are on different exchanges. Well, this is all implementation of data analyzer we need. Now we can check how it works. So let's print following message. Console log pair name. Instead of pair name, we'll use bfx key. Cell on bid index. Price max buy on ask index index price mean which means pair we trade selling on some exchange so if bit index equals to zero means bit finance in case of one Polonix price highest bit price and buying on bit finance or Polonix and lowest ask price. Let's hit save and run this code. And here it is. Actually I had to add several more pairs in order to increase the probability of arbitrage opportunity. They are Monero, Zcash and some others. But nevertheless, we are arbitrating Monero, selling on Polonix because index is 1, at price 0.2544 bitcoins, and buying on Bitfinex at price 0.2541 bitcoins. That means that our comparator works perfectly and we have implemented data analyzer. I have also optimized code a little bit. I have moved definitions of bids asks array 
min max variables and bid index and ask index variables outside of the loop. This will save a lot of memory because this array will be created every time we call this loop. So, which is very undesired behavior. And in the end of first loop, I simply reset bit and ask arrays and min and max variables. Today's task was very easy and we have successfully completed it. So let's move it into done tab. Well, that's all for today. In the upcoming video we'll continue building our bot and we'll work with money management and position management. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!